securitycameraking.com. This is a video demonstration of IDNSS for iPad. This software is compatible with iPad first generation, iPad 2, iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, and iPod Touch. You can download the app on the App Store, and it's very easy to install. Just uh, search for IDMSS and uh, install the software, and it will look an icon like this. Then uh, the next step is you have to make sure that you are connected to a Wi-Fi internally on your network, or if you are externally, make sure that you know the external IP to connect to your DVR. And uh, for this demonstration, I'm going to be using an iPad 2, and I'm going to be connecting to a DVR that is externally on my network, and uh, I, I will be using uh, the external IP, or actually I have a domain through DYNDNS, and I'm going to be using that to connect to it. And my iPad has the Wi-Fi enabled, and uh, this will allow me to connect to uh, the DVR a little bit faster. Okay, so uh, first you open the app, it has a new look now, and you have uh, the initial uh, view of the software is a four channel view. You can click this icon here and it will change to six and to nine. That's right, it has a nine view uh, simultaneously camera view so you can connect to uh, the DVR you know if you have nine cameras and view all of the nine cameras at the same time and you can you can uh, listen to audio as well if you have audio enabled on the DVR and you have microphones on uh, that particular channel so if you keep clicking that this is the single view and the four view so it has one four six and nine channel view okay then you will see the menus here. Uh, it's very simple. You now uh, the the next icon right here is to close a single channel view. If you are viewing a, a channel, if you wanted to close that particular channel, you just click that button and you're done. If you're viewing four channels, you can click the next button and it will close four channels at once. Or if you're viewing all of them, or nine channel or six channel, it will close it will close all of them at once. With the camera icon, you can take a snapshot, and it will go to uh, your gallery, uh, your picture gallery on your on your iPad or iPod or iPhone. Uh, the speaker will allow you to mute a particular channel that has audio. If you wanted to listen to a particular channel that has audio, you just simply open the the channel, and you will be able to listen to the audio right away. You don't have to click anything else. As soon as you go to that channel that has audio you will listen to the audio. Make sure you have uh, your speakers, you know, the volume on your iPad all the way up and, and you should be able to listen to. And the next and last uh, option right here is for PTZ controlling. If you have a PTZ camera, a pan tilt zoom camera, you can move the camera from here, from the app. You can zoom in and zoom out. And uh, let me show you how to connect to the DVR now. So first we go to the first icon which is like, looks like a gear you can go to device list edit and add here you will see the device details you can put the name whatever name you want I can put office if I want to on the address you can put either the internal IP of your DVR if you have changed it you have to go to the DVR and network settings and, and see what the, IP, the internal IP is or if you're uh, connecting, try to connect it externally from, an, uh, from a remote location to your DVR, you have to use your external IP. You can find your external IP by uh, going to canyouseeme.org on the network where you have the IP connected or on the place that you have the DVR connected from a computer. And uh, the result will show you the external IP and this only is going to work if you have all of your ports open already on that particular router where the DVR is connected. So in my case, uh, I do have it. So I'm going to connect to uh, using a domain name and instead of an IP, you can use DYNDNS or a domain name or an IP address. In my case, I'm going to use that, a domain.
Okay? The next field is the port. This is very important. The port that it uses by default is the TCP port on your DVR. By default is 37777. If you have changed it, you have to use that port that you change it with in this field. It will not use the HTTP port. Okay? The username and password is going to be the username that you have assigned on your DVR and the password as well. Default username and password is admin admin. And once you're done, you click OK. Done. And here's your device that you just added. If for some reason you wanted to check again the configurations, you can basically click on it and go back to this section and make sure that you check this uh, this uh, field here to see if everything that you type in there is correct. Or if, if you don't, if, or if you wanted to edit it, you can click edit and it will go back to this menu again. Once you're done, you click OK and device list. And go uh, click IDMSS so you're ready to connect right now. You can do two things here. Uh, you can go directly to uh, and click save or you can add the cameras you want, your favorite cameras to your favorite folder. Let me do that. I'm going to add, I'm going to click on favorite, add. It's going to show up just the device that you just uh, installed right now or just edit into your uh, app. You click on it. You will be presented again with all of the channels. Uh, I'm going to add camera one. Just tap it. Five, six, eight and nine for example okay so let's click OK and here they are the, all of the cameras that I add as my favorites click back then you click save okay now the menu will disappear you will go back to this menu or to the initial window and to add the cameras just simply tap the plus twice and then you can either go to your DVR and choose the cameras you want here or you can go to your favorite and then you choose the favorite cameras you already add to your favorites list. Right now you see you can hear probably something over there uh, and um, that's pretty much how it is. I mean the audio is already enabled once you click on that particular channel. This camera has audio as well. There is not enough noise over there to hear it, but it has it has audio. And uh, just simply just go to that particular camera, you will start listening to the audio. If you want to mute that particular camera, you just click the speaker, and you will be able to uh, mute the sound. Okay, let me continue adding more cameras. Okay, this is for camera view right now. I can just simply go and change the view and then add more cameras to it. Okay, and or it can go to the nine view and keep adding cameras. It works really well. Uh, it's very easy to use. I'm just going to keep adding the same cameras it's just for an example. Right now I have audio there. So uh, let me explain you really quick about this. I, I have um, this is a PTZ camera. You can control the PTZ using your fingers if you want to. Okay. Uh, you can, uh, you know, move the camera up and down, zoom in if you want to. This is our rack where we have all of our DVRs. And, um, or you can basically go to uh, your zoom options and start zooming in into the desired object you wanted to zoom. There you go. OK. 
okay if you want to take a snapshot you can basically go and click the camera button and it will go to your gallery and you can see the snapshot over there uh, from here I can close this particular camera and add a different one if I need to okay double tap to go to the nine channel view or to whatever the last view was and as I said it's very easy to use it's available on the App Store is free and uh, I hope you enjoy it I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing